Hey guys, welcome to Digit.in and what we have with us out here is the JBL Bar 2.1. It is a sound bar with a wireless subwoofer and it is priced at about 25,000 rupees. That's the box price, the MRP, but if you look online, you can get really, really cheaper. You can get cheaper. Now what we are going to do is unbox this and show you how to set it up with a TV that you have at home and the various ways in which you can use it. So let's quickly get started with the unboxing. So after a little bit of struggling with the box, we finally have everything that you get in the box out here on the table. You have the soundbar itself, which has physical controls on the top and the connectivity options at the back. You also have the ability to mount uh, the soundbar on a wall if you want to, and you also get the wireless uh, subwoofer. Now, a really interesting thing is that you get an array of cables in the box. The first is an auxiliary cable, which is a 3.5 mm cable. You can connect it to your smartphone or a laptop if you want to listen to music uh, from there. You also get an optical cable, which is really, really nice in case you uh, have a TV that supports optical out. That is great. Uh, the soundbar also supports HDMI ARC, which is great. So if you have an audio return channel capable on your television, you can use that as well. And of course, you get two different power cables, one for the wireless subwoofer and one for the speaker itself. And of course, a remote control to connect everything with. Now let's go ahead and connect it to the TV and show you exactly how we set it up and the kind of audio that we get. So as you can see, what we have with us is the Xiaomi Mi TV 4, which is a 55 inch TV and it is on a tabletop stand. And what you can see is that the sound bar is uh, perfectly fits right below the TV. It isn't blocking your view of the TV. It stands at about 2.3 inches uh, in height. So if you have a TV that's giving you about uh, roughly two and a half inches of space below the TV, then you can of course keep it. And if that isn't the case, then you may want to rethink your options about placing the TV or uh, the sound bar because you don't want it to obstruct your view of the TV. Now what we're going to do is uh, this TV supports the HDMI ARC, which is an audio return channel. So does the sound bar also support it in the HDMI out. So we're going to take an HDMI cable, connect it to the HDMI ARC port on the TV and connect that to the uh, sound bar. So this sound bar offers essentially four ways of connecting it to any device. It has a Bluetooth as well. So if uh, you would like to connect it via Bluetooth, you can do that. It has a 3.5 mm uh, aux input as well. It has an optical input and HDMI arc. Since we're going to be watching some movies on this, we're going to choose the arc option. So we've used the HDMI ARC option to connect the speaker to the TV. We have used the HDMI ARC output, which you will see written at the back of your TV and connected it to the HDMI out option of the speaker. Now it's not gonna work with plug and play always. So what you have to do is go into the settings, find sound as an option, and where you have speakers, you will see the option of HDMI ARC. Also, another thing to note is that when you plug in the speaker and the subwoofer, which are of course separate, there is no wire connecting the two of them, there is a white light at the back of the subwoofer which indicates that it has been paired. Once that is paired and you have selected the HDMI ARC option, you are all good to go. So there you have it guys, that was our first look and uh, setup at the JBL soundbar. You can always let us know what you thought of this video in the comment section below. And for more videos like this one, you can subscribe to our channel. We will catch you in another video. It's goodbye for now.